How to Create Global Sustainable Progress, One Community Weekly Progress Update number 146. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable, I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 146, January 10th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm recovering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, access links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the first 25% of the written content for the community lesson plan to the website. You can see this here, and this lesson plan is purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of community. Behind the scenes, we wrote an additional 25% for this lesson plan too, bringing that behind the scenes written part to approximately 85% complete. We also completed the first 25% of the mind map for the winter lesson plan, and we add the icons to the web page. What you see here is the mind map. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food completed another round organizing the streamlined version of our food self-sufficiency transition plan page. This page includes contributions provided by naturopathic Dr. Matt Materano, creator of the Coherent Model for Comprehensive Digestive Health. This week, we further organized the recipes, creating a page for bonus recipes. Organization is now approximately 85% complete. We also added three additional recipes from Sandra Solani, vegan chef and author of What's Your BQ to the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan page. These recipes are chopped winter fruit salad, Swiss chard pizza with toasted pine nuts, and lentil couscous salad with orange essence. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team working on high good housing put another 10 hours into the behind the scenes revisions for the Footers Foundation and Flooring page, the crowdfunding campaign we're developing. This week's focus was finishing the stem wall details and slider parts and tools. Slider design will make building these domes cheaper, safer, and easier. You can see an example of this work here, and we'd say we are about 60% complete with the total update of this section. Behind the scenes, we also add an additional 10% of edits and content to the Treehouse Village Pod 7 presentation begun by the intern team over the summer. You can see an example of this work here. 
The updates to the presentation are now approximately 75% finished, and the presentation will be released on our website when the revision process is 100% complete. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team began the process of learning how to do our own renders for the Duplicable City Center. You can see our first render here showing one of the guest rooms. We also started double checking the construction details for the pallet bed. Here you can see a breakdown of the construction components. And these details were checked against the excellent work you see here from Bupesh Sithala, interior designer. Bupesh has built the complete furniture in AutoCAD as seen here, checking the details originally designed by the summer intern team against the recreation updates by our core team and then adding in additional construction details as necessary. Iris Sue, industrial designer, continued with these additional pipe couch designs for the Duplicable City Center library. The drawings you see here are her fifth generation drawings continuing development of the couch idea with a stationary back. Behind the scenes, Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant, and myself began exploring how the control systems can be built into the furniture of the city center rooms. Here are four pictures of us using the 3D model of the furniture and room to discuss how to create easy ways for users to interact with these systems. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team continued our work on the highest good network with Andrew Herman, software engineer and core member of Futurist Playground. Here's a snapshot of this work developing behind the scenes. What you see here is brainstorming and outlining for how multiple organizations will be able to use this software to track time, resources, and more in different ways that are useful for each other, but specific to each organization. Working with Oz Chersky, lawyer specializing in trademark and copyright law, we also created this open source tutorial about patents. This new page teaches the history of patents and what is needed for anyone interested in keeping their inventions and ideas in the open source domain. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. One community is here to teach people how to create global sustainable progress. We believe that if we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough that the idea will spread on its own. So our way of making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating as attractive enough is to create teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs designed to give people the experience of a way of living that is sustainable and that we think most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now. We are open sourcing and free sharing all the do-it-yourself instructions, tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints to do this. What that means is we are looking at an evolution of sustainability that includes the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, housing, and energy, and it combines it with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as high good education, high good economics, uh, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. Putting these things together is an evolution of sustainability to teach people how to create global sustainable progress in a way that works for the individual, small groups, for communities, for countries and for the planet at large. This is what one community is doing. We're bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all that believe that this is not only possible but want to be a part of the process. They want to be a part of riding the cutting edge of the wave of change that's already happening as we build a global collaborative, a global cooperative of people interested in creating a better world and a world that truly works for everybody. This is our idea of how to create global sustainable progress, and we invite you to join us. If this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds fun to you, there's lots of different ways to participate in our project. We're an all-volunteer group, and the opportunities for participating range from the pioneer team, which are the people that will move to the property and build one community, people working together and meeting weekly with collaborative calls and working on everything, organizing everything behind the scenes, to just volunteer collaborative uh, consultants that are working with us and helping us behind the scenes, volunteering time, or just sharing our information on social media. 
The easiest way that you can help us is just share our information on social media. Help us get the word out. Help us spread the open source and free share tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints through social media so that more people know that we exist, know, people, know what we're creating, and people can get involved if they want to. We're on all the different social media networks to make this as easy as possible. We're on LinkedIn, we're on Twitter, we're on Rump, uh, Reddit, we're on Tumblr, we're on Pinterest, we're on Sue. Our goal is to make it as easy as possible for people to access the information that we're creating because we know that if enough people par participate in this idea of creating global sustainable progress, then we can reach that tipping point where we can truly and positively impact the lives of every single living person and creature on this planet by creating a sustainable world that works for all of us. This is what one community is doing. People ask, well, what's the number one thing that one community needs? We're still seeking large-scale funding. So if you're somebody who knows somebody with the resources that could either invest in one community or donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization, we would love to speak to you. There's lots of different ways to participate. And uh, of course, small donations are really helpful as well because we're all unpaid volunteers. So the cost of running one community currently exceeds the donations that we get. So the $5 donations, the $10 donations, the $20 donations, all those donations go to running our website. We're looking to upgrade to a VPS server so we have our own server so our website will run more efficiently and we'll have less problems associated with shared servers and our hosting process. These things cost hundreds of dollars. And so that money is currently coming out of the pockets of the volunteers that are organizing one community. And so the small donations, the five, the 10, the 15, $20 donations really, really help. Of course, large scale funding would help us to get the property that we've been looking at now for five years under ownership of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization, allow us to start building and taking our open source progress to the next level. This is what one community is doing. This is how we see global transformation happening. We believe that if we are truly going to address the challenges of our generation and generations to come, it requires a comprehensive solution, a solution that simultaneously addresses all the challenges of our day and is flexible and malleable and adaptable enough to work into the future and address the challenges that we have not yet seen or have not yet predicted. The first step is creating a sustainable world for everybody, and we have a clear blueprint, a clear design, and a step-by-step -step process that we are walking through and we have been walking through for over five years now, developing all the details necessary to build one community as the first teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub that people can come and visit. If they like what they see, if they like what they experience, they can go and build it somewhere else. This is our way of building a bridge between pragmatism and idealism, creating a world that truly works for everybody with pragmatic foundational principles and ideas that have already been tested and proven individually around the world, but have not yet been put together in that idealistic model. That model that is an evolution of sustainability, creates a way of life that most people will consider superior to the way that they're living right now. So that people want to participate, so people that want, so that people want to duplicate it, so that people will take the money, the resources necessary to the places that need them most and start building teacher demonstration villages and hubs around the world, collaborating and cooperating and expanding the whole open source suite, all of the open source tools, tutorials, resources, the foundational elements necessary to create a sustainable civilization, expanding that exponentially across the globe. So this is what we're up to. We thank you for following our progress. We thank you for sharing our information. And uh, if you'd like more details, more specifics, links, you can visit our website. Our weekly update blog has links to everything that I've been talking about. If you like an email, every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. We'll add you to our newsletter list. And um, yeah, thanks for following our progress. We will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.